Hey folks, Friday is finally here and with it, uh, the end of Friend Week. Uh, and anyway, I am ending Friend Week with a battle against Mr. Forget88, a truly, truly awesome battler. Um, and a really cool guy. Um, I don't think he's uploading videos yet, but uh, when he does, you should totally check out his channel. I don't know whether the noise cancellation is getting this, um, but uh, there's some construction going on outside. Sorry for the uh, inconvenience. Anyway, um, I'm using my uh, infamous Lantern uh, Soul Rock lead combo, which hasn't failed me yet, and I'm feeling pretty good about this match. Um, and so, yeah, uh, his uh, Floatzel goes first, and uses Waterfall, but Soul Rock is pretty bulky, so I figure, wait, what the hell? It just fainted. Uh, I was not expecting that. Uh, so yeah, that was kind of like a wake-up call to me, especially uh, as his see his um, uh, Shiftry uses Seed Bomb and one-hit KOs my Lantern. So in the first turn, my two Pokemon, who are both, you know, decently bulky, get taken out, and I'm already down two pokes. So I'm like, whoa, uh, at this point I'm like, okay, well, gotta bring my A game, gotta bring my A game. So I go ahead and send out Emily and Tom, and I consider just exploding here and now, but I figure I can take out Tika. I can, oh, that's his uh, Floatzel um, with a Power Whip, so no need to explode right away. But anyway, his uh, Floatzel dives underwater, which I've never seen dive in a battle before, and here's why, because he just exploded. And I'm like, whoa, are you serious? And so anyway, this takes out Tom in a single hit, which I was not expecting. Tom's a decently bulky Pokemon. He sh I, I figured he was going to survive it, but, you know, Explosion is the most powerful move in the game. Uh, and so even without Stab, and even without, you know, Shifter's got decent attack, I guess. And so that, that did, that did, the, you know, that did enough. And so anyway, I go ahead and send out Nessie, figuring that the dive was aimed at Tom, uh, just to finish it off. Um... And so I'll just get a, a water absorb from the dive, but instead dive hits uh, Emily and does a quite a bit of damage, gotta say. Uh, and anyway, his Le Pew, his uh, Skun Tank, now uses Crunch and manages to take out Emily um, the rest of the way. Uh, I was going to, um, I'm not sure what I was going to do with uh, Emily. I think I might have been going for a, uh, a rest or something, um, but. Anyway, Nessie gets off an attack, which is the first attack I've actually gotten off this game, and it does a decent amount to the few, nothing at all to Tika, except for I get the freeze hack, so I'm like, yes, okay, I kind of need that hack at this point, since I'm already down three Pokemon. Um, so anyway, I send out Aramaki, my, um, my Mr. Mime, who I'm hoping can outspeed his Pokemon, but, you know, you never know. So um, I'm going to go ahead and use Signal Beam against the Pew. Um, since it's, I don't think it's super effective because I think poison resists bug, but it will at least do damage. Uh, and then he gets some lucky hacks uh, here uh, that cancels out my freeze hacks. He unfreezes. I get a signal beam off, and I'm like, yes, I killed it! Oh, wait, no, why is it not fainting? Why is it not fainting? Why is it exploding? So he survives with like one HP, and I get an explosion in the face, <coughs> which takes out both of my Pokemon, and I'm like, oh my god! Oh my god, this is the worst battle ever. Uh, just this team is doing so badly. My team is doing so badly against his team. It's just, he's going for explosion after explosion, and I'm just getting my butt handed to me. And so yeah, that's the end of the match. Whoa! So anyway, I don't do this. Uh, I don't do this. I when, when I lose, I try to be a gracious loser, but... I figured, you know, really the problem was that I was being an idiot in this match, so I asked him for a rematch, and he extremely graciously agreed. So here we go again, um, and I'm going to try things a little bit differently this time. So I'm leading off with a slightly different lead combo here. Um, Aramaki, yes, um, and uh, Aramaki and Angler, uh, so that's uh, Mr. Mime and, Angler, and Lantern, and I'm going to go ahead and... Um, Role play. Uh, wait, I consider what to do. I go ahead and do teeter dance. This was my whole strategy. I was going to switch out Lan uh, Lantern um, to tr fool him into thinking that uh, to attacking Lantern. Um, but yeah. Uh, so anyway, um, I get a Brave Bird to the face, uh, which one hit KOs. Yeah, I mean, Mr. Mime's not b very bulky, but I wasn't expecting a one hit KO from a non guts Swallow. Afterwards, I had to look it up. Swallow is really, really fast, something else I wasn't expecting, um, and is you know, pretty darn powerful. So anyway, I go ahead and send out Sifra, 
um, my soul rock, uh, figuring that if um, that dung is going to uh, come, uh, you know, surface, um, maybe it targeted Sifra, uh, um, and so it won't do any damage. And I go ahead and attack with Tom. Uh, Avenger flies up high. Uh, yeah, that thing is so freaking fast. I mean, none of my po the Pokemon out here now aren't particularly fast, but it is what it is. Anyway, um, Tom gets uh, some damage from Dig, but doesn't do too much. And so now I go ahead and use Rock Slide, um, which doesn't hit the flying type that I was hoping for, but it does hit Dung and does about half. Um, so he's using, you know, he's using uh, three moves on his team uh, that you don't usually see in uh, competitive Pokemon. Fly, dig, and dive. And the reason is, as he told me later, was that so his Pokemon could hide while his, uh, while his other Pokemon exploded. So I see Drifblem out, and I'm fearing an explosion. So I'm like, oh god, please don't explode on me. Um, I do a double switch here, um, trying to rack up as little damage as possible and get as much prediction as possible, um, you know, counter as much prediction as possible. So, um, indeed, I predicted this well. Fly hits Lantern and doesn't do much at all. And Hindenburg, that's his, uh, that's his, uh, Driplim, does Shadow Ball again against Lantern, but Lantern can take the hit. So now, um, my, uh... My Driplum is as fast as a Driplum can be, uh, you know, timid nature, max speed investment. So I figure that I can outrun his uh, Hindenburg, uh, his Driplum, and uh, take it out, uh, or at least speed tie with it. So I'm going to go ahead and use Shadow Ball um, there. And anyway, um, Avenger goes ahead and uses Brave Bird again, uh, just trying to do as much damage as possible, I guess, and knowing, of course, that Lantern is. Um, uh, specially defensive, not physically defensive. Um, Hindenburg wins the speed tie and flies up high so that my Shadow Ball will miss, which is rather unfortunate for me. Um, but anyway, I didn't go for the Discharge, I went for the Hydro Pump, uh, and I do take down his Swallow, which is absolutely swell. Ha ha ha! Get it? It's so clever! Anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> um, Anyway, his next Pokemon to come out is Lepew, so I'm like, oh god, there's gonna be an explosion, please don't explode on me, please don't explode on me! Um, and so, <laughs> sorry, and so I send back into, I go back into Licky Licky, um, figuring that he's gonna use Crunch, um, because, uh, instead of Explosion, um, and, uh, anyway, uh, Licky Licky survives, Hindenburg does fly, and uh, takes out Tom, unfortunately. I was really hoping to get him down to cussed at berry levels, but no such luck. So, yeah, this battle this battle is not going particularly well for me either. But uh, Lantern is, you know, doing a lot here. You know, it's being a real power ho uh, work, work, work horse, power horse. I don't know what the term of phrase is. It's being a real um, workhorse. It's doing a lot of damage. Uh, and so anyway... Um, I consider maybe I want to, you know, set up my lead strategy now, but uh, I figure he might go ahead and explode. Actually, no, 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 sorry. Now I remember. I decide that I'm going to go ahead and explode to try to take down that Le Pew, um, because I just don't know what else I'm going to do um, to take it out. And so anyway, I send in uh, Emily, who will, you know, when if an explosion comes on either side, uh, Emily will be safe. Uh, Anyway, uh, Poison Jab doesn't do too much damage, although I do get Poison. But, you know, Poison isn't the worst thing in the world for me. Uh, Hindenburg uses Shadow Ball, uh, which does a whole lot of damage to Seafra, but it doesn't KO, and that's the important thing. Um, now, it turns out I would have been a lot better off attacking instead of exploding here, um, but I do go ahead and explode. Uh, and so I do take out his Le Pew. <laughs> not again, not, didn't really, uh, you know, had I done Rock Slide, I probably still could have gotten the KO there, and I also could have probably KO'd, um, his Driplin, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, you know, his team is very good, uh, even though he hasn't done any explosions yet. Oh, by the way, um, the, the no explosions isn't a coincidence. He said that later on, he was, uh, later on he said that, um, he was basically trying to see what he could do without uh, just doing uh, the explosion trick, which he considers cheap. I consider it par for the course. Um, but anyway, um, Emily, I'm hope you know Emily, I'm hoping to get the speed, win the speed tie here, and 
if I get off this rest, then that'll be awesome for me because um, I'll get woken up with um, my Chesto Berry and get the Unburdened Speed Boost. But it turns out that he wins the Speed Tie again and uh, Driplum is taken out. Um, meanwhile, his uh, other Pokemon dived underwater, and so I'm not, uh, this is not good. Uh, anyway, Blizzard uh, goes off, um, hit one of his Pokemon's underwater, but the other one is going to get a Blizzard to the face, and it's super effective, and I take down his Drift one. So, um, I don't remember how many Pokemon of his are left. Um, I, I'm hoping it'll come up on the next turn, but I'm down to my last two. Um, so, you know, it's going pretty neck and neck here. Um, yeah, my opponent goes ahead and sends out Treebeard, but he's down to his last two Pokemon, so he can't explode, at least on this turn. Again, I, at this point I didn't know that uh, he was trying to go with no explosions in this t entire match. He does dive, not knowing that Nessie was a water absorb uh, Pokemon. Treebeard attacks with Seed Bomb, which Nessie survives thanks to the fact that it's a freaking beast. Um, and I go ahead and attack with Blizzard, which is going to be super effective. Uh, against Treebeard, uh, and it's, you know, I've just got one Pokemon to deal with, it's two against one, and the question is whether I can win. Um, I go ahead and use Surf, again, you know, it's going to be not very effective, but I'm going to get some uh, important healing action, um, again, uh, with my Pokemon, and I do get the Lucky Crit, uh, which is nice. But so, now I try to decide what to do here. Um, and, you know, try to decide how I should take it, how I should go about trying to take down this last Pokemon. And I decide to go with Discharge Protect. Um, just, you know, uh, dis you know, obviously, you know, if I had attacked with Nessie, Nessie would have gone first. But had um, Tico uh, decided to use Dive, um, then Discharge would have just hit um, Nessie, and I don't think Nessie could have survived. Um, but anyway, I... Uh, Waterfall does not take me out because I resist the waterfall and I am able to take it out with discharge and the battle is won. Uh, so anyway, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. Um, Mr. Forget 88, uh, Mr. Forget 88, that was an amazing, amazing battle. Good game. Uh, everyone else, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed Friend Week. So long.